Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. We welcome devotees to our morning Bhagavatam class. Uh, this morning we have His Holiness Chandramali Swami giving class from Slovenia and he will be speaking on uh, Canto 1, Chapter 5, Verse 9 and the top, the, the, it's the continuation of Sri Narada Muni's instructions to Srila Vyasadeva on the Bhagavatam. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada and all glory to you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Hare Sriya, my obeisances to you and to all the devotees. Hare Krishna. Pariksit, Hari Bo, you can see your lovely face coming through. <laughs> Hare Krishna Maharaj, I accept my humble obeisances. Glory to Srila Prabhupada. Hey. Thank you. But, I hope. Okay, so we'll uh, begin. Um, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Yata Dharma Dayas Charita Muni Varya Nukir Titaha Natata Vasudevasya Mahimam Ya Nuvaranitaha. Translation. Although, great sage, you have very broadly described the four principles beginning with the religious performances. You have not described the glories of this personal, supreme personality, Vasudev. <laughs> Purport. <laughs> The prompt diagnosis of Sri Narada is at once declared. The root cause of despondency of Vyasadeva was his deliberate avoidance of glorifying the Lord in his various editions of the Puranas. He has certainly, as a matter of course, given description of the glories of Lord Sri Krishna, but not as many as given to religiosity, economic development, sense gratification, and salvation. These four items are by far inferior to engagement in devotional service of the Lord. Sri Vyasadeva, as the authorized scholar, knew very well this difference. And still, instead of giving more importance to the better type of engagement, namely devotional service to the Lord, he had more or less improperly used his valuable time and thus he was despondent. From this it is clearly indicated, indicated that no one can be pleased substantially without being engaged in devotional service of the Lord. The Bhagavad Gita, this fact is clearly mentioned. After liberation, which is the last item in the line of performing religiosity, etc., one is engaged in pure devotional service. This is called the stage of self-realization or the Brahma Bhuta stage. After attainment of this Brahma Bhuta stage, one is satisfied. <coughs> but satisfaction is the beginning of transcendental bliss. One should progress by attaining neutrality and equality in the relative world. As passing the stage of equanimity, one is fixed in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. This is the instructions of the personality of Godhead in the Bhagavad Gita. The conclusion is that in order to maintain the status quo of the Brahma Bhuta stage, as also to increase the degree of transcendental realization, Nara recommended to Vyasadeva that he, Vyasadeva, should now eagerly and repeatedly describe the path of devotional service. This will cure him from a gross despondency. Omigyan timiranda siya ginajina salakaya chaksu unmilitam yenatas my shri kudanenga maha ma om vishnu padaya krishna pristaya rutale shri makti bhakti vedanta swami iti namine namaste saraswati deve godavari pachari may never say so soon you know the past yet you may see tarane panchakalpa to this jack we will send you the able jack the titan um pavane bio vaishnavi bio jai shri krishna 
Sri Danya Prabhuna Pramanda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Mansadi Gaur, Bhakti Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hmm. So, maybe we all have had the experience that when we have done something, which has been something we put a lot of time and energy in, uh, when we're done, we don't feel satisfied with it. Um, something's missing. Uh, sometimes we can't understand what's missing. Usually someone else will have to point it out to us. Just like sometimes when we write an article and then we finish and then we think it's not right. There's something more that needs to be included or something that's in there that should be taken out. So we get these feelings of uh, despondency or what we say bewilderment based on something we do. Here we have the similar case and this is a and a major case because Vyasadeva spent, we don't know how long, but a very lengthy amount of time compiling many of the Vedic scriptures and mostly in the Puranas and others. And after doing it, he could understand something was lacking. And then of course, it came along, Narada Muni, his spiritual master. And uh, he immediately could recognize what was wrong. And that's the benefit of the, having the spiritual master to review what something we've done or someone who was in the same, qualified to do that same service. A lot of times we cannot put our finger on what is missing. But here, and this is the same, although Vyasadeva is very advanced, you see, you know, Shaktivesh avatar, special incarnation to do this work, but still. And we might say also from the spiritual perspective, there is a reason for that, just to glorify the personality of Godhead in the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam. Only then did he recognize after being that uh, he hasn't described the name, fame, form, qualities, pastimes, entourage of the Supreme Lord. In other words, describing material topics or mixed spiritual material topics doesn't give one the full satisfaction. As it's mentioned here, he mixed in the four, they call them Purusharthas. Purushartha means the activities of people in general, Dharma, Artha, Kama, and then ultimately Moksha. Religiosity, economic development, the desire to satisfy the senses, and uh, ultimately liberation. And so Bhagavatam in the very beginning, in the second uh, verse in the entire Bhagavatam, it says, Dharma projito kaitavo paramar nematsaradam satam. Dharma, religion or spirituality, dharma projito. Uh, projito means to remove, or we might use a word that Prabhupada used, kicks out, the word kicks out, uh, kaitava. Kaitava means cheating. That religious uh, system that teaches material gains as part of the process of spiritual advancement. That's called cheating because you can't mix the two. When you do, you have the example of how Vyasadeva felt. It doesn't give satisfaction or even happiness, or it doesn't take one on the path towards the goal of life. So to glorify the Lord, is the nature of the soul's existence. To hear about the Lord 
to speak about the Lord, to remember the Lord, to serve the Lord, to make arrangements to serve the Lord, to engage others in serving the Lord. These are all activities on the spiritual platform because the object is the Lord's pleasure. And because by serving the Lord, we can please the Lord. And by pleasing the Lord, because we are connected to the Lord, this is the main thing. If there was no connection with God, other than some, just like a lot of times we get connected with people in this world for some business or some, uh, some relationship. But if that other person is pleased, it doesn't necessarily mean we will experience the same pleasure because the connection is simply through the activity. But with our relationship with Krishna, our, our connection is to that it is eternal. It's never not there. It's the connection between, we might say, um, a son and a father, a daughter and a father. In other words, the intimacy of the connection between the Lord and the part and parcel soul is eternal and can never be lost. I mean, it can never be, uh, what's the word? It can never be not there. It's always there. It's eternal. It can be forgotten. And that's the problem. So when we do something to please the Lord, automatically we also become pleased because of the connection. So in the same way we see here, because he, because he didn't please the Lord, and nor did he glorify the Lord, which is a means to please the Lord, he was feeling less happy. Uh, simply to glory, we see many religious scriptures nowadays, because this is the age of Kali. To find pure religious scriptures is very uh, rare. Most religious scriptures talk about the benefits of worshiping God and receiving material benefits, such as economic development, fulfillment of one's desires, I remember when I was first uh, searching out some spirituality in my life. It goes way back, way even before I came in contact with Krishna consciousness. And much earlier than that, I came across this one process, which was a chanting process coming from Asia. I think it was Japan or in that area. And, uh, I started to get into it, and then I found out that they had the group, people who were involved in it, in their local area, there were meetings, and in these meetings, people who were, who were just got involved in it would speak a little about their experiences. And all the speeches, when I attended this one meeting, was about how much their material desires were being now fulfilled and before they came across this process of spirituality, so-called spirituality. I think it was more like some demigod worship. Um, you know, before then, they had so many unfulfilled desires, but now their desires are getting fulfilled. After going to one meeting and seeing the quality of the people and what they were trying to express as something good or something wonderful, I decided I didn't want anything to do with it anymore because to me, it didn't make sense that you worship God to get a good job or you worship God to find that person who is your partner in life and this was basically that. So you find that it's very much true to fulfill material desires through spiritual practices is one of the more outstanding uh, 
principles that pervade modern day religions. And this tracks followers because that's what they want. They can't fulfill their material desires in an ordinary way. So they come to God to do that. And therefore when they do, and they see that there's some results coming, and they think, oh, this is wonderful. And then they continue to worship in that mood. We find it also in the ISKCON society, people come in order to get material benefits. Um, and Prabhupada talks a lot about that as a disqualification for making spiritual advancement. And so the essence of spirituality or as essence of the practice of spirituality centers around Shravanam, Kirtanam, Krishna Smarnam. To hear and chant the glories of the Lord and to remember the Lord. This is the essence. And therefore now, after instructing his disciple, Narada will, uh, you know, leave, he'll go on to his next situation. And Vyasadeva will begin his work on the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, Nar, I mean, Vyasadeva could have said, well, my dear Narada, do you know how much time and energy I put into this? And now it's complete. You know, so let's just go with what I did because, no, he wasn't thinking like that, nor could he ever possibly think he like that? Because he wanted to do that type of work which would benefit everyone. So it was concluded that only by devotional service can Krishna be known. Hare Krishna. Okay, so that's some of the principles that are mentioned here in this particular verse. And these are the activities of people in general. So when one gets uh, stuck or unable to move forward in devotional service, one should inquire how to overcome that. Uh, here we have the example that he had the opportunity to inquire from his spiritual master. So when we have, when our spiritual master is present on the planet, this is something we should take advantage of if we get stuck in our devotional service. If our spiritual master is not on the planet, we may also get advice from someone who is of the same spiritual quality, caliber. Hmm for instance, his god brothers or someone that we know is spiritually astute and can answer the questions. Let's see. Hmm. And the point is, and Prabhupada makes this over, that if one wants satisfaction, one wants happiness, it has to come by engaging in devotional service. We have to do something for Krishna. <laughs> Sometimes we think, well, I did so much for Krishna in the past, now it's time to do something for me. <laughs> um, this mentality will just leave us unfulfilled. Sometimes we say, well, sometimes a devotee thinks, well, I've done so much service all my life. Now it's time for me to kick back and uh, kind of fulfill some of my own, un, own unfulfilled desires and maybe some plans that I haven't been able to work on. But one will find the same experience that Vyasadev had at best. In other words, they'll feel fine. They'll feel themselves unfulfilled. Because no matter how hard we may emphasize activities 
in the material world, we can never be satisfied with them. That is that their nature is they leave us dissatisfied. Okay, so I'll just make a little shorter class today and see if there's any discussion. Thank you so much, Maharaj. I would like to ask devotees if there are any questions or comments that you have on what Maharaj has spoken. Um, anything from other topics that has been on your mind, please, um, that is not linked to this verse, but you've been thinking about other questions, please do. Um, unmute yourself and do ask your question. Um, I will do my best as I'm going down to see if there are any hand raised, but if there isn't, and if I don't catch you, please do unmute and ask your question. Yes, Mother Gita, Hare Krishna, Mother. Hare Krishna, Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances at your mother's feet. All glories to Prabhupada, all glories to you. Could you please explain the symptoms of someone who is fully satisfied? Thank you, Maharaj. Symptoms of, uh, well, that's mentioned in, I believe it's the, uh, uh, let's see. It's in the second chapter, there's just a couple of verses that indicate that. Let me see if I can remember. Um, go to, uh, let's see, verse number 55 in chapter number two. In Bhagavad Gita Maharaj? Chapter two, verse 55, I think is one of the verses. There's another one before that too. But let's, let's explore this one first. Rinda must be trying to get the verse up, Maharaj. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says, uh, Krishna speaking, when a man gives up all varieties of desire for sense gratification, which arise from mental concoction, and when his mind thus purified, finds satisfaction in the self alone, he is said, he is, then he is said to be impure and transcendental. Yeah, well, so um, one of the things that cause dissatisfaction is a desire to fulfill material plans, desires, in other words. Here, the mind is always giving us, you know, we're thinking about, well, I want to do this and this will make me happy. I'm going to do this and this will fulfill my desires. When we give up all these ideas, how to become happy and just engage in devotional service, then we find satisfaction in ourself as opposed to looking for satisfaction in some object or some activity. That's one of them. Um, Go to a few verses. If you could just turn the pages back a little bit. I think there's some verses in the previous section of this chapter. I'm not sure where it is. Yeah, here, well, this is a something similar. 54 is similar it was the answer given in Yeah, when your mind is no longer disturbed by the vague language, then you, you remain fixed in self realization you have attained divine consciousness. Okay. Go back earlier. There's one verse where uh, Arjuna is asking the question, what is the quality? How can we tell one who is on the spiritual platform? Going Go back, Brenda. I think we might come to the answer before the question. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. Keep going back. Uh, 
Keep going, Brian. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep going. Yeah, let's see. Keep going back. I think it's around, around in the 40s here. So. I had to mute someone, Marge. I don't know who was speaking. Okay, keep going. That's, this is not it. Huh? There's a verse that says, how, how can we tell a man when he's in trance? How does he sit? How does he walk? How does he speak? Mm. Well, these verses are not, these are different ones. Yeah. So some of the ones we passed up. Oh, 54. 254. Okay, go to 254. Well, that's the one we just did. We did 255. Yes. That was the answer. Yeah. Um, so there are symptoms of a person who is satisfied. Marge, is, is this one here? That's right. Yeah, this is the one that uh, Arjuna asked, and then the next one is the one we answered. Go to 56 then, and you can see. Go down to 56, Brenda. I mean, go forward. Which one is this? This is 54? 54, Maharaj. Yeah, so we mentioned that this verse here is the one we read. That's all. We read this one. And then go to 56. Uh, go, just go and see what Krishna says further. One is not disturbed in mind, even in the midst of three full miseries, or elated when there's happiness and who is free from attachment. It's called a stage, sage of steady mind, free from anger and fear. These are the symptoms of a person whose mind is fixed. Marge, in, in the previous verse, uh, Vinda, can you go back to 55? Marge, I would like to ask a question as a follow up from Mother Gita's question. Um, where in the verse, Krishna is telling Arjuna, which arise from mental concoction. Can you um, explain, Marge? I mean, shed some light. What does that actually mean? Yeah, the mind's always coming up with ideas for enjoyment. That's called mental concoction. That's the nature of the mind. The mind's restless, chanchala, himana, krishna. The mind is restless, it'll come up with so many ideas how to enjoy. If we're not satisfied with the particular type of enjoyment that we're accustomed to, the mind will still will, will come up with all kinds of ideas how to enjoy. That's just the nature of the mind. But here, when we find satisfaction simply in the self, this is Brahma Bhuta stage, where one is in, uh, you know, they're not they're not disturbed by what's going on, nor do they, do they get uh, overly excited about success. There's another verse also in the. Uh, Fifth chapter, verse number 20, you can go to that one, 520, which is similar. Okay, now Pariksha Priyam Prapyam, no Dijet Prapucha Priyam, Stira Buhira, Samudo, Brahmavid Brahmani, Stira. A person who neither rejoices upon achieving something pleasant, nor laments upon obtaining something unpleasant, who is self intelligent, who is unbewildered, 
who knows the science of God is already situated in transcendence. So these are some of the symptoms of transcendence. Not moved by happiness and stress. Intelligence is coming from the soul. Not bewildered by material changes. Knows the science of God. There's a whole list. These are some of the outstanding ones. Thank you so much, Maharaj. I mean, amazing points. Definitely a lot of food for thought for, for us, for me to really um, work on, for sure. Thank you, Maharaj. And that was a nice question, Mother Gita. Thank you for asking such nice questions for us to, to meditate on. Are there other questions from devotees? Are there um, realizations, reflections, some thoughts that came up even from this few verses that we discussed? Please do um, either raise your hand or you can just jump in and ask the question. Trying to see that I don't miss anyone here. Marge, in the Bhagavatam verse that you were speaking on this morning, 159, at the last page, uh, last sentence, uh, it says, Shabrapa says that Nada re recommended to Vyasadev that he should, eager, he should now eagerly and repeatedly describe the path of devotional service. Can you explain, and this would cure him from gross despondency. Can you speak much more or explain more about the path of devotional service? Because like you said, sometimes devotees after a few years, they say, oh, I've done enough. Now I'm, I know it's like a retirement stage for me kind of a thing, you know, and I, how can we continue to stay on the path of devotional service? How can we continue to stay on the path of devotional service? Well, yeah, and not and, and I, not feel, oh, I've done enough, so I have to do something else, you know, like, yeah. Well, devotional service is not something that you reach a conclusion is, it's always increasing. Devotional service is, a con, is the nature of the soul's existence to serve the Lord is natural. So as we stay engaged in devotional service, we make progress. If we're not engaged in devotional service, we'll be serving something on the material level. You can't stop serving. You can't stop thinking. You can't stop existing. You have to do something. So staying engaged in devotional service uh, is natural for the soul's existence. So the question is, how to stay engaged in devotional service? Is yes, Marge, and you know, like how um, how can how can we help each other or how can we get the help to always make sure that we stay on the path of devotional service and like like Mother Gita, as I, I had not get uh, distracted by all the other, you know, um, material well, enticement. There's going to be opportunities for distractions. Some of them are small and some of them are big. Some of them are coming from the external environment. Some are coming from our own mind. These distractions will appear. And then one has to stay fixed in the instructions of the spiritual master. And realize that either you're in devotional service or you're not. As soon as you stop the activities on the spiritual level, you're performing activities on the material level. Okay, there's no in between. So to stay on, one of the most important things, probably the most important is association with devotees, especially those who are fixed in Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. and that's the, most, oh, sorry. the most important thing. We always recommend that to new people when they come that they simply associate with devotees and learn the process. Association is, is required for everyone on all levels of devotional practice, not just for the new people. Thank you, Maharaj. 
Devananda mm -hmm. Prabhu, you have a question, Prabhu? Yes, I do. I have a question. Uh, thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. All the best to you, all goes to Srila Prabhupada. I would like to ask a question about um, last text from chapter 2 from Bhagavad Gita. Mm. Uh, Krishna says that if one is do situated even as the hour of death, one can enter into the kingdom of God. Uh, well, uh, how many um, devotees uh, you, you saw uh, that who came into the kingdom of God and at the end of their lives? The question is... We, Yes, question. The question is, uh, how many devotees you uh, personally saw, know who came into the kingdom of God after their lives? Ordinary persons, um, as Krihaskas, for example. Well, that's that's up to Krishna. <laughs> Krishna, he, Prabhupada gives the formula and the statement of surety if you follow and you develop the right consciousness, then you achieve the kingdom of God. If you don't, then you take another birth somewhere to continue with your devotional service. So one has to reach pure devotional service before they can go enter into the kingdom of God. So we don't know who makes it or who doesn't make it, but we can tell by the symptoms they exhibit when they are personally present. Nobody can say what happens to a person at the time of death. After, the, I mean, after they pass away, where they go, whether they go to the spiritual world or whether they go to the material world to associate with Krishna and his pastimes, and where they, or else they come back in the material world and take another birth. There's so many options. Depends on the level of your spiritual attainment. It's not that everybody who performs devotional service will go back to Godhead in one life. They may have to come back again, continue until they reach perfection. I'll reach perfection. <laughs> yeah, perfection is, you know, one is absorbed in service to the Lord with love. It's perfection. Thank you very much. Hare well, Devananda. Hare Krishna. It's, it's Mar available. Raj, would you say it's that... Oh, I'm sorry, Raj. It's available for everyone. They just have to work for it. Maharaj, would you say that um, as uh, when you ended that, um, you know, perfection is... Oh my gosh, it slipped my mind. <laughs> um, perfection is service to the Lord, you know, like completely surrender. And would you say that that perfection is the symptoms of um, one who is satisfied, Maharaj? Like what we just talked about in the verses? Well, satisfaction is not, is not perfection. Satisfaction is a principle of uh, executing devotional service at a certain level of practice and uh, have attained that certain level. So higher than satisfaction is dissatisfaction. That's higher. And what does that mean? I'm not satisfied with the level of spiritual attainment that I made. I want to go farther. So this type of dissatisfaction is the, the impetus for, for further advancement. We saw this within the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita with Gopal Kumara. He had achieved the spiritual world in Vaikuntha, but because, uh, and he, uh, he was welcomed by Vaikuntha Nath or Lord Narayan there. And the Lord told him, 
you know, welcome the nurse and be happy. But he couldn't. He couldn't be completely happy because his his nature was to reach uh, Goloka Vrindavan in association with Krishna. He wasn't happy or wasn't completely satisfied on his level of uh, attainment of spirit of Vaikuntha. He wanted to go to meet Krishna in Goloka Vrindavan. So there's an element of dissatisfaction which comes as an impetus for further advancement. And this is very important for devotees to understand. One should never be co complacent in devotional service. So this dissatisfaction means I always have to make more advancement. I always have to fulfill my, I have to increase the quality of my chanting, increase my understanding of the process of devotional service. I have to learn more about my relationship with Krishna. I have to learn more about Krishna. The devotee is eager for advancement. And not only are they eager, but they make plans on how to, how to get to that advanced stage. So the satisfaction that we were talking about earlier is simply a certain level of practice that one obtains. But that doesn't mean that's the highest. In many cases, it's not the highest. Marge, okay, well, before I ask my next question, I'm just going to open up to see if anyone else has questions, Marge. Are there any questions from other? Yes, Vivek Prabhu. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, I have one question which is not related to uh, today's class. Uh, can I ask, please? Yeah. Please, Prabhu, please. Thank you. Uh, Maharaj, today is like Mahashivratri, and my question is like Shiva is uh, very dear most and top Vaishnava. And uh, uh, like normally for other Vaishnavas, uh, appearance day and other special day, we keep half day fast and celebrate that day. Uh, like for Mahashivratri, is there any instruction from Prabhupada that uh, why, like, like because it's not in our Ishkon calendar, so just wanted to check. Like, is there some directions, guidelines? Like, because this is yeah. a very special day. Actually, it's it is on the Vaishnav calendar. It's but it's tomorrow actually. Shivaratri is tomorrow. It is on the Vaishnav calendar. Prabhupada also gave the example where the cowherd boys with Nanda Maharaj went to honor Shivaratri by visiting a particular place. I forgot where it was. Ambika. I can't remember where they went. And they honored Lord Shiva there. So, um, but it, and Prabhupada said it's optional for Vaishnavas to fast on that day. You can fast or not fast, but if you fast, it's one of the ways to honor Shiva Rajri. Now there's a misconception about Shivaratri that people don't know of, and that is the one that's coming up tomorrow is called Maha Shivaratri, which comes once a year, but Shivaratri comes once a month. <laughs> people don't know that, but that's that's if you do some research into, you know, chronology and understand a little bit more about this particular uh, celebration, you'll find Shivaratri is a, is a monthly program that people celebrate in some places every month. But Maha Shivaratri is the one we celebrate or honor once a year. So on that day, we speak about Lord Shiva. Many classes I've given on that day about Lord Shiva. That because he's Vaishnavanam Gita Shambhu. He's the greatest of all Vaishnavas. Did that help? Okay. Yeah, thank you. That's really helpful. Uh, somehow, like, yeah, it's in 
I see like now it's in the calendar for tomorrow. In India, actually being celebrated today. So maybe yeah, tomorrow I'll probably I'll probably speak about Shiva Ratri on tomorrow's class. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Are there other questions from devotees? Are other um... Uh, Shri Devi asked, so is it a complete fast from everything for 24 hours, Maharaj? What is? What is Shivaratri. No, it's just a half a day fast. And that's, it's optional, too. It's not that it's required, but if you want to fast, you can. Vivek Prabhu, you have another question, Prabhu? You can ask. He has his hand raised up. No, oh, no, Martin, sorry. Maybe like automatically oh, they not. It's okay. Down. It's okay. I just want to make sure that, you know, I, I did not see you. Thank you. Like I didn't ignore you. Um, Maharaj Sri Devi asked a question and what does Shiva like to eat? What to offer? Bale juice. <laughs> You can find it in America, in the Western countries, you're pretty good. He likes bale fruit, bale juice, bale fruit. B-A-E-L, bale. I know, I know anyone who was born up, brought up in India knows what a bale fruit is, so it's not a problem. But how, whether you can find it here or not, I don't know. Marge, what is the um, what is the ISKCON um, a protocol or um, standard on worship? You know, on um, celebrating or observing Mahashivaratri. Like I know that we can um, give, like you said, we could you know we could speak a lecture. But is there anything else that we should do or we should not do? Because sometimes it gets all uh, yeah, mixed up. No, this, yeah, this is a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't do it in any temple that has an Indian congregation because it gets out of hand. So we had that problem in Chicago. So what we we were relegated to, and this is the way I've been taught, is that we just simply give a lecture on the glories of Lord Shiva that day. There's no, you know, one time we did it and the congregation just took over and they were chanting Shiva mantras and kirtan like that. And it got a little, the devotees became a little upset and it was kind of divided the congregation. So it's not, because people, you know, we're not supposed to, because Shiva in one sense is a demigod. So to glorify the demigods in front of the Supreme Personality of God in the temple, is is wrong. You can't do it. <laughs> Temple's meant for glorification of the Supreme Lord, not the, of the Devas. So the best thing to do is just to, and the only thing is recommended, and you find it practically all over the world, just uh, speak some pastimes of Lord Shiva, Krishna Shiva pastimes like that. In India, every year this year, we, we go to um, the uh, Rajpur Temple, the Jagadat Temple, which is just down the road in Mayapur. And on the, in the evening, starting at four o'clock, we start a big program for Shiva Ratri. But it's done in that area, not in the temple, but in, outside of the temple, in a grassy area nearby, and nearby there's a there is a uh, a deity or a linga of Shiva that's worshipped regularly in that area. And uh, I remember every year when I'm in Mayapur, I take part in this ceremony, and devotees come one after another, and we all speak. Janani Vas speaks. I'm speaking, I, Bhakti Ch Chaitanya Maharaj was, has been speaking many years. Um, what's his name? Uh, uh, 
Nishringa Maharaj, what's his name? Can't think of his whole name. He's from the UK, Nishringa Maharaj. And uh, uh, who else is a, a person who speaks every year is, um, uh, I can't remember. But then after we speak, there's a, there is a, uh, a huge, gigantic Shinga, Shiva Linga there, big. And then they cover it with garlands and sandalwood paste. And then we just bathe the, we bathe that Linga with all kinds of like, fruit juices and ghee and milk and so many things. And that goes on for some time. And then at the end, we have a big feast. But that's done in Mayapur, in that area, because Shiva's worshipped in that area there. Mm -hmm. That's a regular feature. I, I usually take part in it every year and take part in, and even take part in the bathing ceremony. Uh, girls who are not married, they like to worship Lord Shiva because by worshiping Shiva, they get a good husband. So, so Marsh, would you say that um, for ISKCON temples or, you know, devotees here, you know, the safest is it's, it's optional to fast, like you said, then just speak the glories of Lord Shiva, but not to engage in any um, or have any bathing of the uh, temple no, or you're gonna have problems if you do that. that's what i thought and 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 definitely like you mentioned marsh that we we should not be chanting the mantras and all that right no we just um when we when we do the bathing and we we chant devotees chant kirtan regular Hare krishna kirtan but that's in that one place in rajpur where there's a section just near the Jagannath temple on the same compound and there's a big linga of Shiva there, which is part of the, the history of him being worshipped in that area for many, many decades. But it's not done on the Mayapur campus at all, nor is it done in the Jagannath temple, it's just, just on the side. So it's off the Mayapur campus, not on the Mayapur ISKCON property, so to speak. Well, that's our campus, our whole thing. It's a compound. There's, a, there's another temple there. There's Jagannath temple, there's another temple. Then there's the Shiva area where Shiva appears in a, in a hollow of a tree and he's worshiped there. That's a regular thing that goes on every day. People come. So we acquired that whole land. And so we kept up the worship of Lord Shiva. Thank you, Maharaj, for clarifying a lot of points for us. Anyway, but the environment is conducive. If you try to do it here, I wouldn't suggest you do it in your temple. You're going to have a you're going to have a riot. <laughs> That's right, Maharaj. Well, I was also told that it's um, that it's not with the GBC rulings. You know the was like we we can't do that because that's not what Prabhupada actually said. Yeah, right. Um, that's that's correct. Yes. No bathing, you know, just like you said, Marsh, um, we can speak on his glories, but no bathing, no mantras of so and so forth, nothing at all. Yeah, one day, one year I got carried away in Chicago Temple and they were chanting Om Namo Shivaya and Kirtan, you know. So went on for a long time. <clears throat> Madhavi, but, for, Madhavi, you have a question? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Oh, I'm sorry, Prabhu. No, that's all right. Madhavi is my wife. <laughs> Dharam Patni. Uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj, the Obensons to your lotus feet, all goes to Sela Prabhupada. This is something I like to share, uh, how we uh, worship or respect Lord Shiva. Every two weeks on Ekadasi, when uh, Madhvi, well, and uh, we um, uh, bathe the Bal Gopal 
and the Chanamrut we have, and we uh, base the Lord Shiva with that Chanamrut. So whatever we, whatever we want to offer to Lord Shiva, we offer to Lord, Lord first, Lord Krishna, and then offer to Lord Shiva as a prasad. Yeah, that's good. And it's not yeah. only bathing, we talk about uh, preparation, food preparation, we do the same thing. Yeah, she will take the prasadam of Krishna, just offer, you don't even have to offer it, you just, you just offer it to Krishna and you, then you give it to Shiva after, without offering. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Maharaj. Are there other questions from devotees? Any um, comments, reflections, realizations? Just want to make a quick uh, run through the names just not so that I don't miss anybody. Um, okay. If there is... Uh, wait, did I see something? No, I did not. Okay. Maharaj, um, would you like to end with the one run of chanting, Maharaj? Um, yeah, I guess we can. Okay. Chop is always appropriate anytime, anywhere. Okay, so we'll begin. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu, Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadatha, Sri Vasudhi, Gaurav, Vrindam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Hare, Rama Rama. Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Ah, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Rama Hari Krishna. Thank you so much, Marsh, for your time and for the class. And we thank the devotees for joining us this morning. And we have wish you all a wonderful day. Vanchakaptu Bhyascha, Kripa Sundave, Vicha, Patita Nam Pavanebu, Vaishnavebu, Namo, Namahashila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. His Holiness Chandra Mali Swami Ki Jai. Jai. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you. Jai. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj.